My name is Jordan Coleman. I'm director and producer of Paying a Price Film, and I'm 16 years old. The typical director wins his first film award when he's at least over the age of 25, not Jordan Coleman. At 16, Jordan has already written, directed, and produced two award-winning independent films. So Hawk can present the check for $10,000 to his great organization. It's kind of surreal at times, you know. Sometimes you just feel like a regular kid that goes to high school, plays high school sports, and just you know, it just hangs out. But other times you're in business meetings or traveling the world, showing your film, and it's just a surreal experience. Yeah, sometimes I think Jordan's not like 16. I think he's like 40 or something, you know? How does it feel to be friends with Jordan? He's pretty cool. <laughs> he always plays with me, always fun, loving, caring. Although already successful, Jordan tries to lead a normal teenage lifestyle. He Maintains a good GPA. He's a good student. He's been doing that since what? Since we were in middle school. So like it's like he's been there, done that. Used so to it. he's he's just yeah, used he's to used to it. My friends were hanging out and I couldn't really. You know, as a teenage boy, I want to hang out. I want to do stuff with my friends. And there were times when I couldn't go to the mall or I couldn't go to the pool because I was working on the film. He's just a normal teenage kid, and I love that about him. I became the voice of Tyrone the Moose on a Nickelodeon cartoon in Backyard Again. And once I started to get checks in my name, my mother said I can't spend all my money buying sneakers and video games. I had to do something to help out my community. And that whole business is a whole lot of stop and wait, stop and wait. So he was able at an early age to, to be patient. And I think that has been one of the great points for him in filmmaking. His first film, Say It Loud, documents his journey interviewing prominent black men about the importance of getting a good education. He took a camera crew and a microphone and he went out and he started interviewing just regular men in the community. And he said, Mom, this is boring. No one's gonna watch this film. We need some celebrities. Um, celebrities from Michael Sheehan, Kobe Bryant, Vince Carter, they're all in the film talking about education and how education got them to where they are today. Did you do well in school? I did pretty well. I did, uh, you know, I got mainly A's and B's. Uh, I was a pretty good student. I uh, uh, was very good in elementary, junior high. What advice do you have for African American boys in their education? Now, I definitely say, you know, the street smarts and the book smarts, you put those two together, you can accomplish anything. His second film, Paying the Price, he was actually a really good director. I thought he would have a hard time bossing people around because he's just really a laid back kind of kid. Paying the Price was a more dramatic film about the controversial issue of abusive teen relationships. Tears was just rolling down my face, and he didn't stop. So what motivated you to make these films? As I did more and more research, I found that one in every three teens are victimized with teen dating violence, which is scary to me. We had 16 and 18 hour nights working hard, and the cast never complained really, so it was just one of those great experiences. It took 11 days to shoot the whole film. And <laughs> yes, I needed to get to football practice. How, how did it feel to be directed by one of your peers? Um, I felt comfortable. You know, um, I knew Jordan as a friend, so it was just, it was almost easier to be working with a peer than to be working with an adult. It's kind of funny to like take orders from like one of your best friends, like, yeah. sit down, um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can do that. <laughs> it was pretty cool directing my peers, but the greatest feeling was when I was directing the adults, because they had to listen to me. I was the big man in charge. He was feeling himself on the set, you know? He was like, no, you need to do this over. You're not doing it right. And just to bust my chops, like in every scene, he made me do it a gazillion times. One of the most surprising moments for Jordan was winning HBO's Best Feature Film Award during the 2011 Martha's Vineyard African American Film Festival. He was the youngest ever to win the award. I, I honestly didn't think I was gonna win it. And once they said my name, I started to get chills going through my body, like, oh my God, we did it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I felt like we just won a championship game. And everybody was just so well supportive of him too. Like just, you know, we, we, want, we want the best for you, so. Not only is it a movie, but it's a movie with a message. It's amazing. 
I think he brought a perspective to his film that only a child would um, be able to capture. I feel that um, I have a gift of connecting with teens because I am a teen and I know what teens are going to want to watch and what they're going to want to see. So I feel that um, making social issues to help prevent different things from happening in different communities is what I'm pretty good at. Are you proud of him? I am so proud of Jordan and Justin. Now I'm that, I'm that parent now because you could do as many great things in your life but when you see your children do great things, it is just the greatest feeling in the world. It's one of those things where like, I would give it up for anything. And his next project, well, he wants to keep it a secret. It has to be a surprise. It has to be a cliffhanger, always a cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's captivating movies with a philanthropic edge will continue to influence generations and generations of America's youth. In Hackensack, Ariel Hickson.